I bet he's not even got hair on his balls yet. Hmm, <laughs> better not get those boots dirty. I don't know if he understood what I was saying.
That's meant to be, aren't you, Lightnit? Someone should wipe that smug grin off his face. I give him two weeks of trenches. <coughs> he won't be laughing then. He'll be off back home to my <coughs> in <another> time. <coughs> wouldn't bark to my excitement. <laughs> Lay off, lads. Give him a chance, at least. That's meant to be, aren't you, Lightnit? Someone should wipe that smug grin off his face. I give him two weeks in the trenches. He won't be laughing then. He'll be off back home to mummy in no time. In a wooden box, most likely. <laughs> Lay off, lads. Give him a chance, at least.
Did they run out of real men? Everything's getting smaller these days. Lieutenant, he's nothing but a little prince playing dress-up. A milksop for an officer? They don't give a rotting turn about us. Damn it. Damn it all. We used to eat runts like him for breakfast back at school. The upper class is here in the trenches. The rats will be delighted. Have we got any more canned milk? He'll need to grow up big and strong if he wants to make Daddy proud. Company! Attention! 27 men present and correct, Herr Lieutenant. Why does everyone seem to think I have some kind of influence over our new Leutnant in the chain of command? Do they think I can stop the churning of the war machine with my bare hands? As much as it pains me to say it, the only thing we have in common is our accursed name. As if these damned trenches, this damned war, weren't enough. Now the curse of my name has followed me too. From our home out here to the front. Everyone can sense it. It creeps through the trenches. Stalking us. The only one who cannot see it is our new lointment. Finally. Is that you, soldier? Was that you by the plane? My eyes. I can't see a thing. But they cannot deceive me anymore. It's all lies. None of it is true. None of it! Supreme Army Command. We must inform Supreme Command. 
the Kaiser needs to know what's happening here. The war isn't over. The enemy is here. We have to win the war, do you hear? For the fatherland and for ourselves. Don't listen to the traitors and deserters. Please, you have to help me. Give me something to calm my nerves. Something for the pain. There's a medical transport to the north. Please. I... My eyes. God, my eyes. The enemy. No. We need supreme command.
the boy will go far. Father always said so. It was his dying wish. Your father is gone. He built this house for himself, no one else. Least defender of all places. Also, he could send your harness to the Cadet Academy. And now Paul, too. More heirs, more soldiers. That's all I was ever good for. The Academy would have done Johannes the power of good. You've seen for yourself what your coddling has done to him. It's a disgrace. You know I won't tolerate that language under my roof! Your father's words again! You cannot even speak for yourself! Where has my husband gone? Nonsense! Father was right. You've already warped one of my sons with your hysteria. I won't allow you to ruin the other! Where has my husband gone? Once Paul leaves... I shall be all alone in this house. Just me. And your father.
In my darkest hours, it is only music that saves me. Is there a heart in the world that cannot be softened by it? 